Hey guys, thanks for checking out the podcast. Before we get started, I want to remind you about the very cool bucket list trip I am doing in 2026, the Smitty Learns Irish podcast, where I'm going to do my bucket list, hike Ireland for a year, learn about Irish history, town by town, through the mouths of the pub owners and regulars. Because what's a better way to learn about something you love than to experience it yourself? Patreon.com forward slash we the number three Smiths, only three bucks a month, and thanks for checking it out. And welcome to the Rock Radar. My name is Smitty from the What the Hell Everything podcast. Another reaction in my quest through space to open rock and roll minds. Mine exclusively, not exclusively, mine first and then yours maybe uh, next. Who knows? And uh, this is a fascinating one because it's from Extreme and my history with Extreme is very limited. For uh, a lot of reasons, I lumped them in with 80s hair metal, which I tend to not dig at all, even though... I like the songs that I've heard more than words. There's another one I think uh, that I might like. And, of course, the Bill and Ted fucking shredding in the mall. So uh, this is really my first step into anything extreme. I know that this is current. This is new. And I've heard nothing but good things. I know that Nuno Betancourt is a great fucking guitar player. I know I'm familiar with Gary Sharon, obviously singing with Van Halen as well. Uh, But, again... This whole opening rock and roll minds is about me opening mine and getting into things that I normally would uh, uh, say, no, I don't think I want to do that because of the 80s hair metal aspect. That being said, let's dive into extreme, you guys, which is Rise, by the way. Let's do that right now. I've been trying to figure out what I don't like about this. You know, again, it's a, I mean this from the bottom of my heart. I, my mission is to open my mind and open my rock and roll mind and to uh, uh, find good things about things I wouldn't normally like. And I think, what am I, halfway through? It sounds like Shine Down to me, you know, and I'm not a fan <laughs> of Shine Down whatsoever. It lyrically, It's not working. The chorus isn't working for me. Some of the leads, I'm just like, I said it in a previous reaction about uh, a certain shredder. You know, a lot of times shredding doesn't necessarily work for me because it is there to just shred and doesn't necessarily serve the song as well as it could to me and other people like it and that's cool my again i don't like to take a shit on bands i'm reacting to i've said this before about bands i don't like uh, or songs i don't like trying to find the good things 
But if you don't like it, you don't like it. But it's halfway through, and I'm wondering it. I'm still trying to open that blockage and to see if it's me. It could be me. I mean, it just didn't work for me. You know, I, I really tried. I really tried to sit with it and uh, uh, find some things I liked about it. But again, you know, the lyric, it didn't work lyrically for me. Uh, the vocal uh, melodies didn't work for me. The shredding certainly didn't work for me in the song. I was hoping it would kind of go into some cool breakdown after the solo. And it just seemed to be going on just, to, you know. Uh, hey, let's uh, show our chops kind of thing. And that's probably not the case. You know, I don't want to take a shit on uh, that band, but I just didn't really like that song. <laughs> but hey, you know, can't say I didn't try. You got a band, uh, a request for the Rock Radar, something that uh, maybe is your favorite band that nobody knows about. That's kind of the idea behind the Rock Radar. Or maybe something else from Extreme. Prove me fucking wrong. You never know, man. I'm not t totally uh, opposed to... Anything else? I don't. Wouldn't think. You know. Never know. You never know. And I'm out. What the hell? Everything.